Hi, welcome back. This is Debbie. I hope that you're doing great. I saw a really interesting video last night and I'm not sure if it's an older one or a more current one, but it was by a really beautiful young YouTuber by the name of Carly Bible and I will link her down below. Um, she was talking about using the NYX orange concealer to get rid or camouflage your um, dark circles. Now I have pretty bad dark circles. Um, I just got out of the shower as you can tell. I have my little turby twist done. Hopefully it won't come off while I'm filming. I'm going to kind of zoom in here so you can see. Okay, so you can see I have dark circles like right there and here too. And there's a lot of darkness here and that the outer corner of my eye now some of it is just you know age some of it is hereditary and some of it is the um, because of the asthma that I have so I'm going to try this and I picked this up last night at uh, CVS and it looks like this and it says dark circle concealer but if you look at the box it says orange pigment right there so I'm going to try that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some foundation and I'm just going to use some Bobbi Brown. Uh, this is the uh, Long Wear Even Finish Foundation. Before I did that, of course, I washed my face um, with some, I think it was today I used the uh, Philosophy in the bottle with the yellow liquid. I'll put it down here uh, when I remember it um, or when I go over the video. Okay, I'm going to use uh, one of my MAC stippling brushes and this is the uh, 180 I think or 130. I don't know, maybe you can tell me. I can't read that and it's not really focusing so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of primer. I'm going to use the Tarte Poreless Primer and I like to shake this up. And put like about that much and I'm just gonna put it in the areas where my pores tend to be a little larger and that's like right here around the top of my nose a little bit more on my cheeks um, my rash that I get is looking pretty good it's not as red the rosacea is not as red um, as it usually is I've been using uh, some medication that the doctor prescribed for me and I still have to do my um, 14 and 2014 favorites uh, and that will I will talk about a couple of those products because they were in that and please excuse me for being in my nightgown here but as I said just got out of the shower okay I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown which I've really hit pan I'm gonna take my brush and just get a little bit on there and I just like stipple it onto the areas that are the reddest or need the coverage most. And this is a good um, foundation, I like it. The only thing is that I bought this a, a few months ago and I didn't use it right away, but for the time that I had it and used it, it's hit pan way too fast and I don't, you know, scrape it. I just kind of go like this and I don't think I overuse it. So it's really, you know, it's not budget friendly, but fortunately I can afford that. But I don't know if I'll repurchase because of the, um, just how quick it's used up. As you can see, you know, I'm almost done that that's probably going to be my last little bit that I put on there and uh, you know I don't use a ton when I use it so I'm not sure if I really want to repurchase that I have a lot of foundations that I just put in my rotation and my skin is so funny I just kind of uh, it's funny as insensitive and sometimes it's dry and sometimes it's a little oily in the t-zone so um, keeping a few 
different types of foundation is just better for me. Okay, I'm going to take the NYX Dark Circle, the orange pigment, and this comes with a, a little plastic uh, cover on the top, which I appreciate because I cannot tell you how many times that I've gone into CVS where I purchased this, and I've opened up boxes to see, and people have gone in there and, you know, test it and I just think that's gross if you're gonna test it then you need to buy it because I'm not gonna buy something after somebody stuck their finger in it you know I mean I stick my finger in it but I only use it I don't share my makeup now, it's a little difficult to get this wrapping off so I'm gonna just put you on hold for a second I'll be right back okay I'm back and I opened it up and I'm just gonna show you in comparison to the pixie uh, what is this called? The Pixie Brightening Peach that I've been using. It's that color, and that's a pretty good representation of the color. And then I'll show you side by side. This is a lot, this is orangey, this is more peach, and this is definitely darker. Put a little bit of uh, lip balm. Lips are quite dry. And I'm not going to do my whole makeup of my whole face for you today. Uh, I probably will attach a picture once I'm done with my makeup and my hair. I just want to show, try this and see if it works and show you. So I'm taking my finger and then it's very emollient. Now I haven't put any cream on my eyes because uh, under eye I did that last night. And they seem to be still pretty good. They're not that dry. I don't always put cream on in the morning especially if I'm going to be putting a concealer or wearing makeup because a lot of times it makes the concealer just fly right off or it makes like the makeup that I wear smudge so this is pretty emollient so I'll just try it on its own okay I'm going right where the darkness is and I'm pushing it in and I'm just using my ring finger but I don't think you really have to use that just use one of your fingers that you're more comfortable with and now without putting on any uh, concealer over this this is looking pretty good but I'm going to put concealer because it'll look orangey and I will show you this up close in just a moment as soon as I feel like I've covered the darkness it does go into my fine lines a little bit but I'll fix that up with concealer and then when I set it with um, a powder okay and I'm going to go up close I'm sorry I have to reach over for the to the phone the phone to the to the phone camera <laughs> but I need a battery uh, from a little remote okay now I don't know if you can tell the difference but I can it's really camouflaged and I'm looking at the um, the uh, monitor when I should be looking at the camera but if you can see that it really has so now back up a little bit Oop. always do that a little too far Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to take a concealer and I'm going to use the Bye Bye Under Eyes by It Cosmetics. There we go. And this you need very, very little. And I use the Neutral Medium. I'm just going to kind of squeeze the tiniest dot onto my ring finger. And then I like to take it and just warm it up with my other finger here. And then I'm going to place it right over that and I'm just pressing it in like I would do I'm not swiping because I don't want to take it off I want to add it on and then I'm going right under the um, lash line Hmm. 
that looks pretty good that that works pretty good hmm. all right I'm going to just set it quickly so that you can see it and I'm just using the NARS um it's the white powder I forget what they call it all the time it's let's see um this is the translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder and even looking into the camera I it looks brighter already okay and I'm going to take a brush that I just use specifically for setting that I'm taking a little bit onto my brush tapping it off all oh, that powder goes all over and I'm going to close this eye that I'm putting powder on because I wear contact lenses and I don't want to get the little powder on the lenses okay I'm going to close that one And then I go back and I just like press it. And I also sometimes wet my beauty blender and and press down the powder with that, but I haven't wet it yet, so I'm just gonna do it this way. I should have taken a before and after picture, but I didn't. There. Okay, I think that worked pretty well. I'm gonna put myself closing in or try <laughs> that's real close but you can see and I still have you know the fine lines but it did a pretty good job now I am older than um, Carly is and oh, I'm sorry I'm trying to take you back and Okay, I am older than Carly, so I, it's not going to look exactly like her under eyes looked because, you know, I'm older. Um, but I really do think that this NYX dark circle in the orange, and this is, oh, it has coconut oil in it too, so that's good. Um, this one here, oh, dropping it. And it comes in the box on the side and you have to be careful you have to get the one that says orange pigment and I know online at uh, nyx.com they're all sold out I went on to um, Amazon and they wanted like $39.99 for this little thing I was like no way uh, so I was gonna try a different orange concealer because she said that it really doesn't matter if it's NYX just as long as it's an orange concealer but last night I went into CVS and I found I think the last one I might go back and get another one maybe to do um, a little giveaway we'll see um, I probably will if, if there's one left then it's meant to be <laughs> so I just wanted to quickly show you how that worked for me thank you very much Kylie for um, showing that and sharing that with us and then I wanted to mention um, a lot of you especially um, us in the let's say older uh, beauty community have heard about the list that was created by Carol from the O Carol show I am going to put the link to those channels that show the list down below underneath this and to give shout out to all those people that are currently on the list I'm not going to get into the whole you know discussion that has been uh, going around YouTube all I'll say is that I'm happy with the list uh, check, check out the people it might you know you might find somebody really that you really connect with and you find that you really like their channel subscribe it'll be great if you don't that's fine too I think it just for the older let's say mature beauty community it is hard for us to find people that um, are our age or around our age that are going through the same things that we are um, not to say that I don't wear watch um, younger people in the beauty community because I do I mean I just did a video uh, about a product that I heard from a younger uh, member so I do I do absolutely subscribe to people of all ages this is just kind of done to promote to not raise awareness but just to kind of get our names out there so that if you're new to YouTube or you've been on it for a while and you just 
you want to find somebody that's a little bit older that maybe you have more of a connection to or you'd like their opinion to um, then you have a list there to click on to uh, it'll take you to a video of Carol's and then you can click on and if I was you, I would subscribe to her because she is a very creative, wonderful lady and she's very helpful to anybody who has any questions about YouTube and techie things and everything from how to copy and paste. She has that on her channel uh, for the newbies uh, to the old computer world uh, to things like interesting items that she's found that are helpful and useful in her life. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I will be back soon and I will be back with my question and answer video. I just wanted to get this video out first because I really wanted to try it and then to show it to you. And I will put a, attach a picture after I'm done getting made up. I'm just going out for the afternoon with my husband, which uh, we do on the weekends quite often and uh, so it'll just be not a super glam look but you know get a sup at the store and return something and have a little early dinner and uh, so we'll see what it turns out like I hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please comment down below uh, you can also send me a private message uh, you just go to my info page and there's a spot right there. If you are not subscribed to me and you like this video, uh, check out my other videos. If you like the channel, subscribe. It'll be great. Um, like they say, it's free. <laughs> You'll just get an email and I think when I post and I think there's even an option to not receive emails uh, if you don't want to and then you can just hop onto YouTube and check for yourself. So have a great day. Hope you're having a great day, night, afternoon, morning, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. I'm still on. I'm having a trouble turn having trouble turning it off.